Greeting traders out there in Traderland. D7 here for the weekend edition. Good through Sunday, November 22nd, 2020. And the markets, and the markets um, ended mostly bearish, bearish, bearish on Friday with small caps. Russell's 2000, the only one in positive territory, silver and gold higher. VIX higher by 2%. We're at 23, still really, really low. We're over 18,000 on Bitcoin at this moment. Pretty good, if you ask me. If you want to buy Bitcoin uh, on your account, you can do GBTC. That's how you can get into it. Okay, all right, let's take a look here at the spiders. Here's the deal. We stay in the rising wedge. Oh, and before I do this, subscribe, subscribe, hit the bell. But out, outside of that, at the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you the bird trade. I thought it was timely being Thanksgiving weekend or week. I The bird trade is a trade that, I mean, gravy city. <laughs> the pun. Okay. But I'll show that at the end of the video. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. Hopefully, I'll get a like and a subscribe from you um, <laughs> by giving you that. So check this out. The S&P 500, the spider, the ETF is in a rising wedge. See these, this line and this line, those two, right? That is a rising wedge. I'm going to, for the, I really don't need, I'm going to keep that, those two lines. Those two lines here, there's a bullish pendant. It did pop up, but we hit our head at this resistance level. Guys, this is a lot of trouble. Here's the bottom line. You can quit the video right now. The markets are in a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. I think that we are set up to drop, and I want to show you why I believe this. All right, we have the rising wedge there. If you look at the diamonds, the diamonds, the diamonds also in a rising wedge, this line and this line. And if you don't know what a rising wedge is, go to freeonlinetradingeducation.com or just do this, go to freetradingvideos.com. Freetradingvideos.com, go to that chart school. In the chart school, look for rising wedge and look at the examples. But here's the problem with the diamonds. The diamonds or the Dow 30 went up. We failed to hit the resistance point. So it's relative weakness now because of that. Because of that, the what we what we have is a slowing of momentum right there. Do you see the pitch is different now? That pitch is different. We failed to hit the upper line because we hit it here. We hit it here, but. We failed to hit it there. So now, hit here, 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 we have three hits. Very, very, very solid line there, guys. Um, it's showing a lot of weakness there. NASDAQ, NASDAQ. Hit our head at resistance. We come out, hit our head at resistance. We drop, hit our head at resistance. We drop, resistance, resistance, resistance. We stay there. Now, the only benefit that we have going on is we're above moving averages on the um, tech stocks. And we're staying in the upper echelon at the resistance point. Look for that to break out. It could do that. But anything can happen to symmetrical triangles, they can break out or break down. Just know that if we're above the moving averages, above the apex of the of the symmetrical triangle, and we're in price action stays in the upper echelon of the apex instead of the lower echelon, those are indicative of bullish activity to the upside. So that's what it shows. Okay, if I go to small caps, small caps had a nice rally, had a rising wedge break out. So this is the this is Good news for the markets as a whole, because usually the markets will follow small caps. Small caps said fooey to the rising wedge. It broke out of that, building a high base. That gives us more upside opportunity. So that is interesting. Now you're saying, but D7, you just said that the markets are set up to go down, but you're building an argument for the markets to go bullish. So watch this. <clears throat> financials. If I go to financials. Financials had this line, and let's validate the line here. Resistance, resistance, resistance. You can see the the timing down here. Okay, this is a daily chart. Daily chart. Resistance, resistance, resistance. We had three major hits. We broke it. Now we're at it again. This was blow this up so we can really, really, really see this line. Came up and touched it. Came down. We broke over it. We should have rallied. We should have just exploded from there. But last week on Wednesday, something bad happened. We closed back down. Now that's called a jab. This could be problematic. This could have a significant drop to the downside. It looks all bullish, right? But all major moving average up here at this area of resistance. But this could be problem city. 
okay? The, this is called a redhead for you guys that's been through the 401 course. That's a redhead, you guys know what that is if you're a mentor student of ours. Um, so you know what that's telling us. The, if you go here to the US dollar, it continues to go lower, lower, lower. It's a falling wedge. This looks like it's getting ready to go bullish to the upside. That will put pressure on commodities such as silver. And let's look at silver, chopping around sideways, caught up in the moving averages, look for a big move sometime soon. Gold, same thing, but below the moving averages, that is more bearish and it is bullish on gold. The VIX is still really low, guys, but look how it looks like it's bottoming here. Bottoming, we got a hammer down here, another hammer. It's almost like we're getting ready to go higher, guys. Like we found the bottom on fear. Quick look at Bitcoin, it's just up, 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 up. Guys, this is, <clears throat> Bitcoin is here to stay. It's been, ever since it broke out of the triangle to the upside, it's just been on a roll. And for you mentor students, especially the advanced 401s, look at the moving average here and, and ask yourself, would you still be in this trade or would you not be in the trade? Okay, those for the mentor uh, students. All right, now, if I go over here and let's just quickly do this before I get to the bird trade. I want to go here and I'm gonna to go to the Grok stock picks, okay? Oh, no, no, I can't do that yet. I can't do that yet. I'm gonna build this case why I'm bearish city, okay? Let me go back to, I'm using TradingView. There's a link down below. <clears throat> so this spider, let's go there. Let's go to spider now. We're gonna to go to the weekly chart. Weekly charts are really, really important to us. Okay, so here it is, weekly chart. We broke up, but look how we're breaking down. We broke down for the week below two major tr um, trend lines. Bad news, diamonds. Broke down below a trend line, bad news. NASDAQ, we hit our head at our trend line and we're starting to drop, bad news. This is the higher time frame. Small caps, Russell 2000, good news. We're going higher. It says fooey to the rising wedge. Financials, up, 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 a reversal pattern wanting to drop. US dollar is in trouble. Silver remains in trouble. Gold might be bullish because of the bull flag. And if you look here at VIX, we're down, but it looks like it's bottomed out, getting ready to go higher. Bitcoin on the weekly chart is up, up, and away. So the long and short of it is the spiders, all the weekly charts are in problem city because we're breaking support levels. No matter what the daily is saying, the weeklies are always more important. It holds a lot more weight going forth. Let's look at the higher time frame. Monthlies are even more powerful than the weeklies and weeklies are more powerful than the dailies. And to do that, we go here to, to the monthly. You don't know this, but I accidentally hit the stop button instead of the button to increase the screen. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> in my excitement, this is a spider chart. Okay, on the monthly chart, okay? This is a monthly chart. The month's not done yet. We got another one. What do we have? How many days do we have going in the month? Oh, man, guys, we only have this next week, but Thanksgiving, we're not, we, we're not gonna be trading. I mean, we, we just have just under a week worth of this month, okay. Here's the question. Is this a monthly chart going to hit its head at resistance and drop? Because when we get to this resistance area, we dropped. We got to this resistance area, we dropped. We got to this resistance area, are we going to drop? This is still a dynamic candlestick. It's still moving. It can do anything. The question is, in the next week, will we close above that trend line or will that be resistance like it has for a long time, guys? A long time. This goes back to 2009. And then here, 2020, and then again, 2020. We're here again at resistance. It should it should close lower and then drop, okay, on the higher, higher time frame. The diamonds, right at resistance on the monthly chart. Are we gonna close above it? Are we gonna break out? We have one week to know. This is so important. Share this with a friend. NASDAQ is up, up, and away. It looks good. Small caps is up, up, and away, and looking really good. I mean, I really like in small caps. Financials, will they look good? Yes, they're up, 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 up. So we have the small caps financials saying, hey, there's hope. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> so that's what we're looking at. All right, let's get to the bird trade. Okay. <sighs> I found a chart. This is AA, okay, Alcoa. The pattern I'm gonna be showing you 
is so get your pencil and paper put this uh, get ready to take notes okay feel free to share it with a friend this will and i hope it gets a subscribe and a like from you leave your comments on i want to have your opinion on this okay bird trade so if i've got a chart here this is what we're looking for we're, this is what we're looking for let me see is this working okay it starts down here in the lower left and it's down kind of low and it's just you know, whatever but do you see how the it breaks out here it has this big breakout drops breaks out this is what we're looking for we're looking for these big drops and then pops higher okay up do you see this and down uh and down okay now if you look down here where it started we were talking about it, it has all this little small choppy stuff okay that that's that's not a problem but when it comes to this i i the real important part is this up um up 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 and then down okay now this is the crew this is where you have to understand so we got this choppy choppy up 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 but do you see the rounding the rounding this is it's kind of got the rounding okay it's that rounding effect when this dude drops and it has this drop right down there and the, and it rallies back higher and then drops okay now now when it drops here's the very important part i'm going to do it in red when it has this dip right there do you see this so rounded round 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 big big ups and downs and then the dip then the dip this dip is so 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 important when that happens guys when that happens what happens next is you get this you get this these little leg things they look like these little legs <laughs> get these little legs and got yourself a nice little turkey <laughs> this turkey it's the turkey it's the bird trade <laughs> happy thanksgiving to all of you and i say that from all of us at grog trade I hope that you have a chance to spend with your family and loved ones. If you don't and you're playing it safe, we understand. But please, go the extra effort to be with family and loved ones. Do that. Take that step to do it. We are never guaranteed tomorrow with our loved ones. We are not. Take every advantage to be close to them, to connect with them. Trading has been good. Blessings to each and every one of you. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Watch this video. <laughs>